somebody at the hotel today, hmm. they got a croissant. Oof. And they put chocolate chips on it. Isn't that common? I don't really ever get those. I mm -hmm. just get the regular buttered croissants and then like cook other breakfast food with them. Right. But yeah, it's common to add okay. some sweet stuff into them. Mm -hmm. I told Misty, I said, you better leave that little girl alone. <laughs> It is. It's five. It yeah, is. Episode, episode five. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Episode five yes. of the podcast because oh, I forgot wow. the consistency. <laughs> it's like really being our friend mm -hmm. this time, and I like this. Yeah. So it's, it's been really, really nice. Yes. It's, yeah. It feels good. It, it feels does. Good. It feels good to be consistent. I could eat anything. Let me not say that. Oh. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. I'm sorry. Oh, I definitely have my <laughs> my limits. <laughs> I think that, but I'm going to Applebee's to get my chicken strips and fries. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. But that's always my go-to. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you usually mm -hmm. have a go-to when it comes to restaurants. Um, like at Applebee's, for me, it's the salmon and the mashed potatoes and the broccoli. That is... looked real good when you got that. And I was like, I don't even eat the salmon. Oh, it was... Oh, yeah. They gave... Ooh, they could have given me a little bigger piece of salmon. Mm -hmm. But it was still good. Okay. Mashed potatoes were good. Broccoli was good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ooh, broccoli with cheese on it. Oh, no cheese for me. Oh. Yeah. I'm sorry. It's okay. okay. I don't know why people always apologize when they like mention something I don't eat. Oh no, it's I just <laughs> you know, like I'm not apologizing because I said that. Like I'm apologizing because oh, I you can't, can't experience. It. Yeah, <laughs> I haven't experienced cheese in so long. Oh, it's been so long. I miss Ooh, it. Like how long? Mm, probably, oh, that's too long. I'm sorry. Probably like three years. <laughs> I think it's been like three years since I've had like cheese. No. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, oh, I would go out. And I tried making, um, I tried making vegan macaroni and cheese. Mm -mm. What? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it came out beautifully, the sauce. I did it with um, carrots and potatoes mm -hmm. and um, nutritional yeast. That's what she used to make like, you know, fake cheese. Okay. No flavor. I seasoned it to my best ability oh, okay. and it still lacked so much flavor. Dang. I was so disappointed because I was so excited to make it and um, it let me down. You should put some barbecue sauce in there. You know what? I probably should have. I was <laughs> it up. I'm just saying. No, because it was, it was such a disappointment. I was so excited and it mm -hmm. just, <sighs> such a disappointment. Yeah. Okay. So, so it might but... be worth it to just maybe take some lactate is it lactate that's what it's called the pill you take with dairy so your digestive system can break down the lactose in food so you don't end up on the bathroom like on the toilet for like two hours oh lactate. They make pills for that? that's what it's called lactate i think i feel like i'm saying it wrong but no i think it's lactate yeah they make pills you put it on your first spoonful of whatever you're eating with cheese in it and it's supposed to help you break down the lactose in food. So you can make better. No, that's oh. laxative. Oh. <laughs> that's different. <laughs> oh. No, it's just supposed to help you digest dairy a lot easier. Mm -hmm. Lactate. Okay. So you can eat with ice cream, wow. milkshakes, macaroni and cheese. Yeah. So I probably have to get that to be able to digest Dang. the dairy. Because if not, oof, I'm going to be in pain. You know what? It's getting warmer outside. It's almost <laughs> summertime. And you know what we can do? Mm. We can go to the freezing booth. <gasps> again. Oh, we did go there. Yeah. And I, they, they have vegan ice cream too. And it was, it was really good. Yeah. It was. Mm -hmm. I think I got like, was it Oreo? Ooh. I don't remember. Whatever it was, it was good. <laughs> Listen, I got the cheesecake with the Oreo fillings and some other stuff. Yeah, it was like... I don't know, I think it was Oreo ice cream and they put like Oreo chunks on top. I don't know, but it was really good though. Wasn't it? That, mm -hmm. that was a moment. Mm -hmm. That was a moment. It was. And I had whipped cream on mine. I think I had like some type of chocolate syrup on, on top of mine. That's I don't good know. too. It That's was good too. Good. It oh was gosh, really good. yes. Yeah. But what are, like, going to a restaurant, what's your go to? Your go to food? Mm. Uh oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> so if I go to Red Lobster, which I love so much. Um, I get 
they have something it's called like the new orleans special it's salmon with shrimp on top and some type of like cajun butter sauce and then mashed potatoes and seasoned broccoli dang it's so that's good. a lot you can either get a full or a half i'm gonna get the full because you can take the rest of it home and just yeah eat like like eat on it the next day mm -hmm. okay because it's a lot of salmon mm -hmm. and a lot of shrimp that they put on top it's yeah it's really good i can't get behind it I but it sounds could. good i wish you enjoyed seafood because it's just so it's an experience it's so good it's so Let's good say, i just can't i can only eat things that run and sometimes fly <laughs> yeah i haven't had that in a minute <gasps> Oh, you don't get to experience Popeyes. Not really, just the fries. I mean, that's kind of getting that. Yeah, <laughs> but honestly, dang, that's all I need. Yeah, because yeah, I've tried the popcorn shrimp from Popeyes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Damn, was it popcorn? In? They don't devein their shrimp. Okay. And that's a that's huge. That's a huge pet peeve when it comes to shrimp for me. Like, hold on, this is where again? Popeyes. Mm -hmm. Which one? The one on Rock. The closest one is to where I live. You know what we should do? We should report them to the to the to the BBB, the Better I Business Bureau. I feel like I mean maybe most people don't notice when they're eating the shrimp. They just don't care. But I eat a lot of shrimp. So you know. So I look like even in other dishes that I get with shrimp, I always look mm -hmm. at the tails to see if there's anything in them, and it just depends on where you go. You shouldn't get shrimp from Popeyes. <laughs> Just because it's Popeyes, right. and you just shouldn't get shrimp from there. But I was like, that. I was like, I just want to try it, mm -hmm. see, because I never had it before. Every shrimp, like every shrimp. But you it, wouldn't have to do with that if you ate the chicken strips. <laughs> <laughs> My grandpa's trying to get me to eat meat again, like all the uh -oh. time. He's like, girl, go get you some chicken. Right. Go get you a drumstick. That's Oh my gosh, get you a leg. Mm -hmm. Just a little leg. Actually, the breast used to be my favorite part of the chicken. Really? Mm -hmm. I cannot stand that. I don't know why. Because my mom can't eat it. She said because it's so dry. Which I guess is kind of true. Mm. She said it's dry. And she said that's why. She said that was always my favorite part. But apparently, that's the best part of the chicken you can eat is the breast. I like the leg. The legs are cool. The breast really. That was always my favorite part. You know what? I can actually kind of see why just a little bit. You get so much meat. Mm -hmm. Oh, the wing. That's what I'm thinking about. I do not like the wing yeah, because I just not, feel like I just could not really yeah, get just, in there. Oh, my grandparents used to get on me for not getting all the meat off the bone. Ooh. That'd be my dad. I'm like, boy, you don't see that meat on that I damn bone? I think I'd be done. And they'd be like, um... You still got some up there. Here and then my the grandpa corner. would take it and finish it off. And I'd be like, okay. like thank you. Yeah. Yeah, thank I was just, I don't know. I don't got them, them teeth to just be. Oh, to just really do. <laughs> rip it. Yeah. My grandpa could clean a bone. Oh, we'll see. I can't do that. I don't have yes, that, that talent. Yeah. No. Mm -hmm. Not with ribs either. Oh, dang. I haven't had ribs in years. Yeah. I don't um, know. My. Because when my grandparents went to Kansas City, they got some ribs, mm -hmm. and um, my mom tried them, and she said those were, like, some of the best ribs she's ever had. Oh, yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah, yeah, Um I went to Kansas City, ooh, damn, some years ago, <laughs> and we stopped at this, we stopped at this barbecue place after we all got our tattoos, and those... Mm-hmm. A barbecue in California was good too. There was a few places that we used to go to all the time that had pretty good barbecue, but she told me this barbecue was way better than like anything she'd ever had back home. Oh gosh, I think that's what we're known for. Mm -hmm. Is our barbecue. Yeah, Kansas City barbecue. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The barbecue wow. here, mm -hmm. like in this city. Oh. That's why I say Kansas City barbecue. Okay, but hold on. Cause like, I do like how wow. I do. Yep. I remember I tried it in. Uh oh. It's like the sauce was really watery. It was like watered down. I don't know. Maybe we just got like a bad, bad batch of ribs. I don't know. Did you go at the end of the day? Oh, I think it was like evening, like evening time. Macaroni and cheese was really disappointing too. Yeah. Mm mm. mm. This wow. was a long time ago. This is like when we first moved here. Okay. So it it might have gotten better. Dang. But I just was not. 
Oh. I love that mac and cheese. Oh, and another place that I was really disappointed by was um Slim Chicken. Oh, yeah. Because mm -hmm. my aunt yeah. was like, oh my gosh, it's better than Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles. Nothing is better than Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles. Because <laughs> it's supposed to be just like Roscoe's, I guess. But Roscoe's is like a staple in Inglewood mm -hmm. where I was born. Right. So to get here and try that, when she was like, oh, it's so much better. And it was just a letdown. I was like. Sorry, Auntie. My mom makes her macaroni no. and cheese. She has like that really pretty brown, like baked cheesy layer on top. But I don't want the top of my mac and cheese to look like a pie. <laughs> but it's good though. I'm gonna have to I'm try, need you with to try my mom's macaroni and cheese. That's that's what I need you to do. Yeah, you said earlier that she could cook. Mm -hmm. Oh, she can. Oh. Oh, she can. Listen. Oh my gosh. Tell her I want to play. I want to play with the pork <laughs> chop, macaroni and cheese, cornbread, and mashed potatoes. Okay. And I'll bring my own drink. You know Tamar. Broxton? Yeah, that heifer. <laughs> so when she was on the daytime show, The Real. Oh, I remember. Oh. That was a long time ago. <laughs> I remember that show. It was a long, listen, I loved that show when she was on it. But she did um, a segment, a cooking segment. Mm -hmm. And she made... Get them, girls. What's that? <laughs> so, you get you a can of biscuits from the store, right? Ooh, I love biscuits. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. These little Pillsbury biscuits. You Ooh. pop them on the corner and mm -hmm. just let them pop. Mm -hmm. And you take them out. Mm -hmm. And you can either use your hand or you can use some scissors. do not matter. Um, you just, you know, Ooh. break them into pieces. Mm -hmm. And you fry them in canola oil. Mm. And like they'll expand, get big, fry them until they, you know, brown, whatever. Right. And then you get you some bacon. Of course, you got to cook the bacon. You get the bacon mm. and you just break the biscuit open and stick the bacon in there. Uh -huh. And then you just dip it in some syrup. Ooh, that's a nice little breakfast food. Yeah, it sounds so good, but she calling get a girls because, you know, like when she make them and, and you give them to your man, like you get him. Oh, okay. And, oh, okay. And he won't leave <laughs> for a few days. Okay. Yeah. But I've always wanted to try that. There are some really good things you can do with those Pillsbury biscuits. Oh I my saw gosh, like what? There was a, um, oh, it was like somebody made chicken noodle soup, but they like thickened up the broth and like put the biscuits inside the, I don't know how to explain it. It's like some type of like chicken noodle gravy over the biscuits with like vegetables and you can add chicken. It looks so good. It's like it's like a little sandwich but with like chicken noodle ingredients all over it. I can only imagine. Mm -hmm. I can only imagine. But the possibilities with food are endless. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. I'm here for it. I don't know, I was just really like on a whole like food thing this week. I was mm -hmm. just like really inspired by food this week. Oh my gosh, as kids, we played this game. It was called War and it was so much fun. The card game? Oh, 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 no, no, what the, no, mm. oh, because I was the game that me and my grandma used to play okay. all the time. No, because that was a good game. It was called War with the, with the solitary cards. See, okay, that's what we would play at my dad's house, me and my brother, mm. going over to mama's house, okay, <laughs> with, my, with my other brother and my sister, Right. and in the den, we would split the den in half, like, right down the middle. Actually, we split up a little bit, you know, a little bit less. So we would just go around. We would gather things around the house mm -hmm. and set up um, our little land. Mm -hmm. So you would have a line of like chairs. Um, I don't know, little tables, little um, uh, you know, um, the fold out tables that you use to set food on, mm -hmm. and you eat oh, the yeah. table. Like we you would set those, those up. Mm -hmm. So like we would just line up like that from wall to wall and right. that would be our area and then my oldest brother he would have his own area because you know he's the big brother so you know he had his <laughs> own area and he would have all of his stuff split up and we just wait till nighttime <laughs> and we turn up all the lights oh and we would have <laughs> random toys on each of our sides mm -hmm. and somebody would just yell out war and we would just launch toys to oh, the other side. Oh, that sounds like so much fun! Oh my fun. gosh, we would break down the barriers that we had for each other, and I don't know why. My oldest brother, he would rip the heads off of these 
Barbie, oh. no, not Barbie dolls. She would rip the heads off of um, the baby dolls. Oh. And there were some decent sized heads. He would just chuck He would them. launch those just. and he would just, he would knock something down and he would hit one of it. It was a good time. Chuck them a hundred feet away. Lit oh my God. Hey, listen. He that was sounds a like so much fun. It was. We went, oh my gosh. We hit the walls. We hit the windows and break the break the shades and we have to replace the shades and then play again i wish we did things like that <laughs> see i was raised by my grandparents they was not oh. about to oh yeah Which, we, yeah i we don't did. think our mom actually knew about it either <laughs> we yeah. did like board games okay no no because we had board games too. too monopoly we had scrabble which i loved okay we had monopoly life sorry mm -hmm. um operation which was like one of my favorites oh right yeah and then we used to play uno and then war but it was with like the solitaire game cards mm -hmm. and then of course we had bingo i don't know who bought me that bingo set for a child <laughs> i was like why did you buy me a bingo set but we right. played anyway it was yeah. fun um it was like the bingo with the cage and mm -hmm. the little balls and you would like yeah. yeah it was one of those it was kind of fun and then somebody got checkers and chess. Don't know how to play chess. I have no idea how to play no. chess. No, uh, chess is kind of fun. Oh yes. Can you teach me? I will. Cause I, and my grandma too. Cause she really wants to learn how to play. <laughs> we both don't know how to play, and we were just talking about it the other day. Like we mm -hmm. want to learn how to play chess. It's like really fun, actually. Like you have to have patience, to though. Oh yeah, I know. It's mm -hmm. a very like waiting. Oh game. yeah. Yeah, my so my uncle, um, he pretty much taught my brother and I how to play chess. That's cool. But he was cold with it. Ooh. Because let me tell you what he would do. <clears throat> he had his own chess game set up on his table, even to this day, mm -hmm. on the table. And he would let us play together against him. And he would let us take all of his pieces. And he would be left with like just the king. Wow. And the king isn't even the strongest piece in chess. What's the strongest piece? Damn, I don't know. It's either the queen I it or... I the king. Hmm. See, the king can only go just one spot. But he would leave us against him with just that king. Mm -hmm. And he would be all across that board taking all of our pieces. Wow. He wouldn't even try to take our pieces until he was down to the last he one. He was real just cold good. with it. Yeah, you're going to have to teach me how to play. Mm -hmm. And... Well, if you teach me how to play, maybe I'll teach my grandma because she really wants to learn. Yeah. There's another game called Phase 10. Have you heard of that? I it's think a card so. Game. My grandma loves it. Don't know how Phase to play. 10. I have no idea how to play, but she loves it. Um, that's another thing that she likes to play. And then Connect 4. Okay. Connect 4. Yeah, we that, all, yeah, that's a classic. That's a classic. Mm -hmm. I love Connect 4. Have you ever played Mousetrap? No. No? What's that? It's a mouse that you have to try to trap. Is it like a board game or is it like a... I mean, it's... I mean, it comes with the board and you have like that little contraption. Oh, is Remember it kind of... Is it kind of like that... Remember that? It was that elephant and it would like... It had the trunk and it would like shoot out all the little butterflies and you had to try to catch them with the net. Oh, no. Is it... Is it oh, it's not like that. What was the name of that game? Elephant. 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 I think it was Elephant. Oh, shit. That was fun. Is it like that? Actually, I have seen that, but no, no, this game, like, you had to set up the actual mouse trap, uh -huh. and you had to, like, I'm pretty sure you had to, like, hit the damn button and let everything work the configurations, and then, <laughs> why, boom. Why was I thinking I think. about Hungry Hippos? <laughs> Okay. I don't know. <laughs> that game, you just have to. Yeah, and I don't know why I thought the mouse trap game was like that, but you said an actual mouse trap, so. Oh my god, my grandma used to give me a lot of educational games, a lot of brain quizzes, and even my Nintendo. Like she bought me some like educational games for my Nintendo. I'm going to try to take that back. I'm sorry. She used to give me a lot of <laughs> educational board games and mm -hmm. card games. And they were cool, but I'd get so bored so quickly. I'd be like, mm -hmm. oh, that's for school. I'm at home. <laughs> like, I want to have fun. Right. So, but no. Uh -huh. Board games were a huge thing. 
um growing up for me for sure and yeah. cards too oh uno how could i forget about uno oh my gosh i just played that i think literally last week oh my gosh yeah my ass beat did i forget how to play uno it has been a while since i played uno well now they they didn't came they out change? with new cards yeah, and they, they change changed some? some of the rules i just feel like you should never forget how to play uno but i kind of did i haven't played in a while so mm -hmm. i don't know now they have cards where it's like, oh, swap hands with the other player. Like, excuse me? No. That's, eh, eh. Oh, there was this little board game that Jazzy came home with. I think she got it for Christmas. It's called Girl Talk. I guess it was a really popular game back in the 90s. It's like a truth or dare type thing. Like, you pick a card, you read it. You, it's either truth or dare. You either tell the truth or do a dare or whatever. It's like a little sleepover game for, for the little girls, for little babies. Girl talk. It's called girl talk. Mm -hmm. And the dares are really stupid oh, and gosh. funny. And it's like, go out on your balcony and scream a random word. Like, oh, girl, I thought you were going to say that. No. <laughs> okay, you had me scared. Or like, it. there was one where it was like, go get an ice cube and put it in your mouth and jog in place for 15 minutes. That was an actual dare. Did you ever watch Full House? Mm -mm. Dang, then I no. can't tell you because you don't I'm have sorry. to make it the reference. I saw that one episode that Taj was on. Oh, he was so cute. Right? He was so adorable. Oh my yeah, he was um he was Michelle's little friend. Did you see my wife and kid? I used to watch it when I was younger, but not as much. <laughs> Remember that little boy, Franklin? Oh, okay. So <laughs> I do remember him. He was adorable. He yeah, was. Yeah. Oh, he was down bad for Katie. Oh yeah. So, oh my God. Yeah. But then Katie's brother Junior. He was just. <laughs> oh man, he was a character. <laughs> Literally, because oh my gosh, I think he might be one of the dumbest characters in the yeah, history of they, they, cause I think they were like who was dumber him or Kim from the Parkers Ooh, now that's a fight Ooh, cause she, I just feel like she didn't apply herself she right out. because let's not forget she was in college mm -hmm. and on Malisha she I felt like she kind of was a little bit more aware and that's some smarter than they it's like they dumbed her down Oh gosh. When the Parkers came around. I love both shows. I do. Yeah. But she was pretty. Some of the stuff she said, I'd be like, girl. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. Like, but Junior. Ooh, that boy. Ooh. He needed so much help. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. My poor I felt baby. so bad for him. Oh, did you ever watch the Burning Mac show? I did. That was my <laughs> show. Oh. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Yeah, we yeah. would sit in that chair and talk to America. But I, I, America. I felt like he was really trying to talk to me. I know. But yeah, I love what's that, that boy's name? With the glasses? Yeah. Jordan. Jordan. It was Nessa, Jordan, and Baby Girl. I can't remember what Baby Girl's name was, though. Yeah, I just called her Baby Girl. Yeah, because that's what he always called her Baby Girl. She always came around the corner. Uncle Bernie. <laughs> there was an episode where they all got sick. Oh, I remember that. Well, I think I remember that kind of. Mm -hmm. I just yeah. remember that episode when Bernie was sick and <sighs> he was having nightmares. <laughs> Wait, and I have been on that damn plane out there, that damn storm, and she was tearing up the wing of the plane. I think I, I just remember there was an episode where he, I think he was daydreaming or hallucinating and she was pregnant. Oh. Ooh, that, I might have missed that. That one. was like his biggest fear. And they made like a huge joke about it, but it was really funny. Yeah. Wow. Oh, I remember the episode oh, where gosh. they had um Indy Ari on there. Wait. Who? Indy Ari. When? You don't know who Indy Ari is? Not right now. Who? The singer, like she was a singer in like the early 2000s. She used to make just like music about loving yourself and I feel like if I played a song. I'm sorry, that's the that. Irish in me. Not oh, oh my god. <laughs> sorry. You gonna have to I'm gonna have to send you some of her songs because I know you've heard at least one. Oh, dang, that's crazy. Did you listen to Paula Diana? Who? Okay. <laughs> Who is that? Paula Diana? If I played some of her songs, I feel like you would know. What if I said walk away? 
What if I say doing too much? Really? Mm. It gets so hard to walk away. Walk away. I can't explain this feeling. I think about it every day. And even though we've moved on, it gets so hard to walk away. Oh, the lyrics kind of sound familiar. Hell is hot. Ooh. Hell is hot. They said it's a heat that like no person has ever experienced in the earthly realm. So it's like, we can't even truly fathom how hot hell is. Cause right. the heat is like something no one's, even the hottest heat here, like Volcano. in the world, yeah, that doesn't even compare Ooh. to like what's waiting down there. Oh my gosh. Oh, and it terrifies me to think about that. It's interesting. It is, but it's also like really scary. Mm -hmm. It's like, yeah. It, ooh. <laughs> Somebody apparently has, I think it's fake. It has to be. Um, what it sounds like in hell. Okay. Yeah. They need to stop. It's, it's not real. What it sound it, like? Just dogs. Violent screams. Oh, shit. Just oh. torturous, like you're just being absolutely obliterated. Just, just. <laughs> <laughs> it's not funny. But it's not funny. But but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but Ooh. no, I, it was obviously fake. But it kind of makes me think. Well, shoot, it probably does sound something like that. Right. Just violent screams. Yeah, but 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 then again, you have to think like, is it really violent screams? Because mm. like th the whole voice system of the body, you know, is proved by science how things work, how does sound go from in here to out mm. here? Right. But like with hell, it's like you don't have this; it's just your spirit or your soul. Right. So like, it's like do souls scream? Do spirits cry out? Why is that such a good title for a song? <laughs> Ooh. Like, yeah. Girl, I got stretch marks on my knees. I have mm -hmm. them everywhere. Well, I have them on my, my arm, like, right? Look at that. Look at all those. Mm-hmm. Oh, no, I don't. I have yeah. them here. Mm -hmm. I have them on my hips, my thighs, like, yeah. But I like them. I have them on my toe. I'm just playing. I don't. Oh, I'm about to say a way you can get them there. <laughs> you can get stretch marks right. on your toes. That's crazy. Mental insecurities. Oh, yeah. Mental. Yeah. I was on TikTok earlier today and I came across this TikTok about this girl who was talking about um, just wishing her brain operated differently than what it does. And mm -hmm. I just really resonated with that because I just feel like I have so many little. I don't know if I want to call them quirks because they're not really quirks. They're more like annoyances, mm -hmm. in my opinion, to me. Um, like, yeah, like going out like how we did today or just whenever I do go out, I don't like it. Like, I just mm. feel very overwhelmed and crowded inside my own head. Like, I just feel like there's so much Girl. going on all the time. Mm -hmm. And I feel like everybody else is walking around probably, you know, just chilling right why can't i do the same right they minding their own business they not thinking about nobody else because they selfish and here we are over here just stressing right like do you ever think that people are looking at you like they're mm -hmm. actually paying attention to yes. you yes yes like when i get home i'm just always looking like behind mm -hmm. me the side of me out the side of my eye because i just i get paranoid like right. i just because you never know people are so freaking crazy nowadays right it's like you don't know what might pop off or who might come around the corner you try never to, know who the homicider is right try to sneak on you and mm -hmm. do something like right. i just i'm very paranoid that way so i just find myself almost being too aware of my surroundings yeah like hyper aware and I kind of feel like a ticking time bomb. <laughs> like Ooh. I'm just waiting for something to happen, even though it probably isn't. I don't know. It's just, mm -hmm. I don't know why I think that way. And it's so irritating because it's like, you could just be calm, cool and collected, right. which is how I present myself to mm -hmm. me. But on the inside, I'm like screaming and clawing at the walls, like help Baby, me. Do you need some search lane? Yes. Which Listen. is what they tried to put me on the last time, and I said no. Why? Because I was scared. No, because that's what I take. And I asked 
asked you how it was, you know, working for you. And I mean, when I take it, it was doing just fine. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but I don't be consistent with it. But I have been consistent with my alarm opinion. What's that do? So the alarm opinion, first of all, it helps me sleep. I don't need that. Because let me tell you something. I ain't been sleeping real good lately. You need to take it. Mm -hmm. Because every night... When we talk, while we text, mm -hmm. I sit there, I be in my bed, I lay on my stomach, I have my phone <laughs> against my headboard, right. right? And I be, I be typing, and before I even finish the sentence, <laughs> I be, no, I that's noticed, why I don't be responding. I noticed around like 8.40ish, 9 o'clock, I'm, yep. like, I'm like, let me hurry up and text him, because I know he's about to fall asleep. I have figured out when you fall asleep now. <laughs> Because, I'm yes. like around eight forty-five ish, mm -hmm. nine o'clock. By nine o'clock, I'm like, yeah, he out. Yeah, because I like I come home, I cook, I mm -hmm. eat, and after I eat, I just get back in the bed and I'm just chilling. But then I'm like, wait, I gotta take my pill. But I always remember at the last minute. Yeah. So I take it and literally like 20, 30 minutes later, I'm out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Which is like it's okay, it's fine because right. I just I figure I'm like he probably fell asleep, so it's yeah. cool. But no, the alarm is supposed to actually also be for signs of a schizophrenia. Okay, mm -hmm. yeah, I don't know. I just mm. it's rough going out there in your brain. It's like mm -hmm. you go out, your brain is just on go. All yeah, the time. and it's like when I'm at home. I'm at home mm -hmm. it's like i'm you're safe and yeah i'm yeah. in my element but it's just like i don't know it's little things like that and then like i've noticed as i've gotten older i'm i'm starting to have issues with like sensory like the way things feel the way things sound irritate me like i find myself like getting really irritated by sounds mm -hmm. and by like just the way things will feel oh my god there's this is really specific but there's um in the freezer there's like ice that forms on the edge oh uh -huh. and oh. when something scrapes up against that i want to die inside <laughs> I, I get it i hate it or when somebody steps in snow like the boot against the snow and it like crunches against the boot i hate that i don't, I don't like you don't that. like the sound oh, of a fresh of a boot and fresh mm -hmm. It does something to me. It almost sounds like. <gasps> it almost sounds like. I don't know, like nails on a chocolate. No, I just... okay, I'm thinking about styrofoam. Next or time. that. Oh, yeah, I don't like the sound of styrofoam either. Mm -hmm. Oh, like when I was younger, I used to hate the 4th of July because of fireworks. I used to cry and scream and never like the sound of fireworks. I honestly still don't. I tolerate them now. They're you pretty. Were that child? I was that child. Ooh, My mom would, couldn't um, take me um, anywhere. I would have been mad July. at you. I'm sorry. <laughs> Yeah, oh, I was I'm that so child. Sorry. I used to cry and scream, and she was like, that's how I knew you never liked fireworks. I still don't really like them. I mean, they're pretty to look at. I can appreciate that, but the sound, I could do without. Yeah. I'm just not a big sound person, I guess. And then just, like, the way certain things feel on, like, mm -hmm. my skin. I don't know what's going on. I don't know uh -oh. what it is. I don't know Ooh. if it's... That's why I want to get evaluated, because, like... It sounds like you have a metamorphosis. I don't know. I'm, like, something... Are you transforming? <laughs> <laughs> no, for real. <laughs> I don't know, but that's why I want to get evaluated because mm -hmm. I want to know, like, what's going on. What? It's not, yeah, because it's it, it's really scary sometimes. I'll be like, ooh, yeah, yeah. You're so I'm shit, just girl. kind of insecure about a few of those things because it's like. I feel like there are people that can get through everyday life and it's just like they're fine or maybe mm -hmm. they're not. I don't know. And another thing, I don't really like being perceived by people, if that makes any sense. No. The time no. perceived. Like being perceived as in people making up observations, opinions, thoughts oh. about who you are as a person mm -hmm. when they really don't know like the nitty gritty. So pretty much judgment. A bit. Or just, I don't like a random person sees you when they look at you. And they give you that look and it lets you know was that a nap oh, oh. <laughs> no i'm sorry i saw something something twinkle right there oh okay <laughs> that was a star i'm sorry go ahead I'm sorry. um so it's basically just like yeah like having a random person look at you and they give you that look and you already know that they're coming up with like so many thoughts and like don't talk about me judgments and critiques and observations about like i don't 
I don't. I don't like being perceived. Listen, I don't. I make up stories about people mm. when I see them. Mm -hmm. I know, like, listen, that man right there, that's not his wife. That's a mistress. He is sleeping with his mistress, okay? Oh, and my his wife, God. Don't know that his wife is actually at work. No. He said that he was actually on a business little trip. Lies. Okay, I will admit. That I... little girl. Ain't no little girl. Oh, no, no okay. I will continue. admit. I did that one time when I was still working at Olive Garden. It was this old, old white man that came in. And then all of a sudden, you see this like six foot tall, dark skin, beautiful stallion on his arm. Yeah, Amazon. Just gorgeous. She looked rich. And I was like, that's her sure daddy. She's waiting for him to so she can get that insurance money. It was the, everybody was looking at them when they walked in because it was just a very odd pair. And I was like, I was like, oh yeah, that's, oh. that's her shit. I mean, oh, Ooh. like he had to be in like his, his 80s or shoot, even early 90s. Lord. And she had to be in like maybe her late 20s, early 30s. She was beautiful. <laughs> she was trying to get that social security she lady. was all like glammed out makeup done hair done she had on this beautiful dress with these high like stiletto heels and he's just this like old freaking grandpa looking dude like and she's on his arm <laughs> like what is going on and i was like that's a sugar daddy yep and that's a sugar baby here here oh i would make this still alive and they sat down just as casual as ever. Not everybody's just looking like, y'all see that? <laughs> Mind your business. So she was working. <laughs> she was working. Oh, so yeah. it was. Mm -hmm. So like, you know, that was like, you can perceive somebody like that. And it's like, obviously you're gonna come up with different things. Mm -hmm. But just being like, you know, regular gal, I just don't really like being like, like I don't want you like coming up with different because you don't yeah. know me like you don't know me you're just going based off of what you see and right. then you make up your own assumptions and like your own little whatever Man, but it feel kind of bad but i'm gonna keep doing what i do <laughs> i'm but, just trying to think though that mm -hmm. man like yeah. did he have enough teeth to be in olive garden i just remember him being really old he had Ooh. like a hunch oh. he was like bent over mm -hmm. and then she's just oh she was so beautiful like she was gorgeous and i'm just like <laughs> yeah. oh, this pair like it's just so it was so everybody was looking you just couldn't help but stare i'm sorry i know i would have asked her i know staring is rude but i was like girl i'm gonna stare at y'all because why y'all pull up like that <laughs> <laughs> But Child might need to move. No, oh we don't stay here. We don't stay here. I like my apartment. Yeah. Oh. Uh, but yeah, no, I know exactly how you feel. But yeah, those are those are a few of my little um as far as insecurities go. Um mental just the way I function as a human, I just feel like it's it can be really annoying sometimes mm -hmm. to me. Like I will judge myself through like other people. Like I'll look at somebody and think like, oh like they probably don't like this or that, but it's like, it's really me judging myself. Right, it's like, forget what other people think. It's so stupid and so annoying, because it's like, why? Yeah. Like, why? Because it's like, I thought about it, we're all experiencing this life for the very first and very last time. So it's like, be nice to yourself. Mm -hmm. I'm very critical of myself, very mean yeah. to myself, very like, you know, if something goes wrong, like I will, oh my gosh, Ooh. yeah. Well, I get it. It gets I really, I, that's something I always have to talk to my therapist about. Right. And she's like, you gotta start showing yourself a lot more grace than what you do. Like you really mean to yourself. And I'm mm -hmm. like, I know, but I don't know. I guess I just expect a lot from myself and it's yeah. kind of like, it's not practical. Yeah. So. But yeah, it's, it's rough. But I just, I find comfort in knowing that like everybody's all collectively going through the same thing. Mm -hmm. And we're all kind of like struggling and, you know, we want to cry and sometimes we're really irritable and angry. Yeah. And yeah, yeah. so that's just, it. that's just life. But yeah, that's, um, that's that. I don't know. See, my, 
my insecurity that I have, and this is honestly my only insecurity. Mm -hmm. My toe go this way. No, I'm just oh saying. My God. I'm saying. It don't. I kind of ripped a few out when I was in the toilet. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> that is like the most savage thing. <laughs> to rip your toe. Oh my god! I think that's the funniest thing I've heard all day. <laughs> no, I am for real. Like I do. Like you just, you, you just I mean, oh. Now, of course, not the whole thing. Okay, just that sounds. Oh no, painful. not the whole thing. Okay, oh, just like god, a little no. little piece. You know, like whatever is hanging off that I feel like oh. be getting caught in my sheet. Oh. And I get, I'd be like, no. no. So I just be on the toilet. I, when I, I did that when I was clipping my big toe and mm -hmm. a little corner piece was still there and I just said See, yeah. Yeah. yeah I just do that but to the whole the whole piece that's hanging out you know Ooh, I couldn't think about doing mm -hmm. like the I mean I have toenail clippers but I was on the toilet so I was like, gonna do get up like, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah that's, 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 that's what I do that's funny oh, oh my gosh. gosh listen because I have to say this mm -hmm. and I know I say it probably every week to you before I drop you off. <laughs> but this vacation, yes. I'm so serious about it. I am too. This is what we have to do, okay? Mm -hmm. And we have to follow through because we're putting this on my schedule. Yes. And I, I, I do not like for my schedule to not be messed up. Right. I'm sorry. I do not like for my schedule to be messed up. Right. We're going yeah. to plan the trip, <laughs> we're going to buy a legion. Because I have a little account with them. Oh. And they're like the only airline that does <gasps> round trips with no oh, stops. I'd be so excited to get back on a plane again. I know, right? Oh my I gosh. I, so I, I had it. such a fun experience the mm -hmm. last time traveling by myself. It was just so cool and peaceful. Everything went right. as it should. So yeah. yeah, I'm excited to get I'm back like, on I a plane too. again. Oh my gosh. I've yeah. never had a problem with Legion so far. I think, because what? I flew United. <gasps> United was cool. That's the part of a Mariah song. Is it? No one can deny it. We were flying like United. <gasps> wow. Those are some lyrics. Allegiant. They only fly on Thursdays and Sundays. Oh, wow. So I figured it would just be good to fly out on a Sunday. Yeah, that's And then cool. to just come back on a Sunday. Mm hmm I would take the whole week off from work. <gasps> and that way it's the weekend. So that Friday and Saturday, we have time to just run around, get anything that we need. Right. But also Friday, if not Friday, then Saturday, we should make appointments to get our hands and feet done. Yes. <sighs> yes. Maybe a hell of a lot cheaper here than there. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. Cause I... I might even try to get, I am going to get, I'm going to make it my prerogative to get two tattoos before I leave you. You can go with me. You know what? We'll both get our tattoos. We will. I still want. Since I get this damn job. Mm -hmm. Shoot. We're going to make it happen. Yeah. You will look so good with red tattoos. Really? You, you think have, Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How much you can Maybe. Like the sun that you wanted on your hand. Yes. You I can still get want that, that and you can have like part of it outlined in red because i've seen the full red sun tattoos or that or that yeah, mm -hmm. i would get it here where i said I'm like, yeah. yeah that's gonna be nice oh. but no vacations yes you know i love i love and live for vegas yeah I haven't been Man. in so many years it's been probably over a decade since i've been oh my gosh are you ready to drink with me yes okay and i've i've seen you <laughs> you go back with you i was like whoa <laughs> i'm sorry but no it's fun that, the alcoholicism jumped out of me <laughs> i yeah. was like damn mm -hmm. i didn't know yeah I but it's know. better in vegas though because like oh, i yeah. said you wake up at nine o'clock in the morning get a drink and they're not judging you i mean people are expecting you to, to have drink. a drink yeah I'm it's like, like the oh, norm yeah. it's the norm just yeah. order some room service to give me some waffles. Go outside and as soon as I walk out there, oh, you got a drink for me? Bad. Mm. And I do like collecting the long, tall. Oh, my, yeah. see, my mom wanted one of those so bad when she went. She was like. We'll get her one. Yes. We'll get her two. <gasps> yes. we, we can sneak them through our bag. <laughs> they just have to be yeah. completely empty, of course. Yeah. But yeah. yeah. But no, I just love vacationing in Vegas. But 
if I had to pick a place to vacation outside of Vegas mm -hmm. or just outside of, of the country, country. Mm -hmm. oh man, I really want to go to Bora Bora. They have the um, over the water bungalows. Ooh. And the water is so, so beautiful. So clear. Yeah, like I, one of my tattoos that I get is going to be a really, really fancy, really, really complex compass. Mm -hmm. And it's going to have the coordinates of that place. Oh, that's mm -hmm. neat. I, I like want to get it on my side, but uh, I'm scared. I might put it on my back. Mm -hmm. oh, I would be, oh yeah, I might do that. Back tattoos are so sexy. But where would you vacation at outside <laughs> of the country? I really, really want to go to Japan. Like, Oh, yes. I think I told you that before. Yes, yes. But, Konnichiwa. Yes. I, and I want to learn Japanese. It's like when you watch anime, you kind of pick up on certain terms and like, you know. Yeah. But I really want to get into the language. And I don't know. It just seems like such a cool place. Oh, yeah. Like just so many different things and attractions and the culture. And I don't know, I just feel like it would be an experience to be mm -hmm. in Japan for the very first time. But, oh my uh, gosh. That would be a dream. I'd love to go. Could you imagine? <clears throat> like, I know here in America, mm -hmm. people love anime and they watch it and That's they true. get into it. But could you imagine how it is oh. in Japan? Like, oh my God. I don't know. Like the cafes, I think when i think when the second season of jjk came out there was a cafe that did a bunch of like character themed food at one of their cafes Ooh. and i was like oh my god i wish i could have been there that's so right. cool i want to go to um shibuya i want to see like the crossing the shibuya what? crossing shibuya ain't that a, ain't that a game it might be but shibuya. it's it's a yeah, yeah. city in shibuya Japan. <laughs> My name is, yeah, it okay. is. but it's a, wow. it's a city in Japan, but there's wow. like a crossing section that's really popular there. Mm -hmm. um, and that's actually where the second season of JJK takes place is in Shibuya, the ending of it. Oh, so yeah, I just, oh. I, would, I would love to go. Honestly, I bet it looks part. so good. Shibuya? Well, oh, just Japan and Japan, like they're, the scenery oh. there, like just their view, like I would love to see some like authentic cherry blossom trees in Japan. Yeah, I know those are so pretty. I'm, oh, they look exactly how they look in the pictures. I know they mm -hmm. do. That's what I'm telling myself. They I want to try the food. I know the food is like they got chicken down there. Yeah. Oh, I'm oh, I would That's mess pretty, it up. I know oh, the man. ramen there is probably so oh. good. Oh my god, and then um, um they took ramen. Yeah, they have something called a melon bun. It's supposed to be like this really good, like sticky, sweet bun. It's really popular in Japan. Ooh. Love to try that. Honestly, I just want to try it all. I just want to try it all and experience it all. Um, I would really, I don't know if you can do this, but I want to see what the red light district is in like in Japan. The right? what? The red light district. That's what I thought you said. Listen, mm -hmm. you might need to not go. I don't Ooh. know if you can, but I heard it's so you know, Ludacris made a song. I'm sorry, a whole album, "The Red Light District." How oh, did he? Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. I don't know that, but I don't know. I'm just kind of intrigued. Like, I'm kind of scared. What goes on? I know it's some some crazy stuff. Mm. Oh, and then they have puppy cafes. <gasps> Will you take your puppies? No, there's puppies there <gasps> when you go, and you can pet them while you sip on your little coffee. I want to pet a Japanese puppy. And they have kitten cafes too. Okay, now wait a minute. That's where I draw the line. I heard of that. Hmm. I have heard of that. Yeah. I just can't do cats. I love kittens. I love dogs too, but I'm more drawn to kittens for some reason. Did I ever tell you about that cat that followed me upstairs to our apartment? And got his paws cut off? <laughs> no. Oh. <laughs> Ooh, we you told me that story. Because somebody else. <laughs> Ooh, I think so. Okay, I'm sorry. Whoa! So you have a kid that followed you? What yeah, happened? it was actually on my birthday, um, like two years ago. I was going downstairs to get some water out of my mom's car to bring back up. And we saw him before we went up to the apartment. I came back down and he was still there. And for some reason, I don't know what it was, he just would not stop following me. 
he was like rubbing his little cat body up against my body and i was mm. like okay i guess we have a cat now so i go upstairs not really thinking anything of it why did this cat literally fly into the apartment door i open the door and he just zooms in and i'm like so we have a cat now <laughs> my mom was like really excited she went out and bought cat food wow. and a little bit he spent the night like he was so cute i think it was, was it a boy it might have been a girl what i'm gonna to it she, she ran away. I did love Vine though. Mm -hmm. R.I.P. to Vine. Yeah. It's been like seven mm -hmm. years, but. Was... R.I.P. to TikTok too. Don't. I'm, I'm gonna sorry. Cry. I shouldn't have said that. I'm going to cry. I just started getting likes on my videos because I only post like snippets of, of the, the show. Yeah. The Panami. And the last one got somewhere around 12 or 17. I said. Mm -hmm. God. I know. <laughs> But yeah, but no, is it true? Like, is that really, like, was it actually passed? Yeah, the bill was passed. And the CEO is trying to take them to court um, to get the whole thing, you know, I guess dropped or whatever. I don't really know. It's it's a whole, there's reasons why. There why? Is... I would like to know these reasons. I don't know if it's safe to discuss on the podcast, but I'm going to say it anyway. Um, there's a lot of valid and um, good information, good sources on what's going on right now between Palestine and Israel. Oh. And yeah, a lot of good information is being filtered out through TikTok. And it's a lot of good source information for what's going on. So the government sees that and they're like, we can't have that. Oh yeah, I might need to cut this out because listen, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you right now, you know, let me just go ahead and check my phone and make sure we still recording. That's honestly why a lot of, um, like, big time, because people are expecting, like, big time celebrities to speak about these things and they're mad that they aren't. But it's like, there's a reason I feel that celebrities aren't speaking about it because very much so. it's very controversial, which it shouldn't be. Even though their um, careers be controversial. Exactly. So. I'm not going to name nobody. But yeah. <laughs> but that's kind of the bit and not just what's going on in Palestine and Israel, Congo, Sudan, mm -hmm. Yemen, all these places that are going through hell right now. Mm -hmm. All of this wonderful information, donations, like everything that's being spread about it is you're getting all the information from TikTok and it's like solid, good, sourceful information. Right. So the government is seeing that and they're like, yeah, no, we got to shut that down because people are learning too much. People are getting too much information about it. And that's all my for you page is right now is what's going on in there because I keep yeah. up with it and it's like <sighs> really mm -hmm. I mean that's good and that's no, great but I've been keeping up man. with it since it's been going on um since for you pages shirtless guys I'm sorry well it's a mix of what's going on okay. and then you know like comedy and like my anime stuff it's like a mixture of like all of that but yeah I but do, you've really been I've been keeping up with it I keep yeah. up with it on Twitter um I've donated like you know, some of my money to some of the GoFundMe. Yeah, GoFundMe. There's a lot of GoFundMe's Ooh. for families that have lost members, and it's really sad. Like yes, I've yeah. cried watching a lot of what I've seen online about it. So um, that's why TikTok's being banned because yeah. the government is seeing that TikTok has been a wonderful source for the information that's spewing out about what's going on, and they don't like that. I mean. Y'all want to sit up here and ban TikTok for that, but why the hell ain't y'all trying to ban Twitter for all that damn <laughs> porn that be popping up? Oh, I've seen way too much of on Twitter. It's almost Listen, like, it's scary. I cannot go out in public and open up my Twitter. Damn it. Yeah, it's, you gotta, ooh, yeah, it's, it's a mess. I'm really mm -hmm. surprised at, like, because their guidelines are always like, well, you can't post this. Oh, like, they have guidelines? Yes. No, they don't, girl. Not no more. <laughs> <laughs> they have not had guidelines for years. And I'm like, all these pages and all these... Di right. I'd be like, okay, can y'all take that back to Tumblr? I'll scroll and then all of a sudden, it's just two people going at it. I'm like, what? And I'm like, I'm like... I'm like what if I'm out? What if I'm away? getting my hair done and I want to go on Twitter and then I got to... What if I'm trying to show my little sister something, okay? Or me, what if I'm trying to show my nieces and my nephew something? And then whatever. all of a sudden, boom. But see, I'm smart because I know how Twitter works. Mm -hmm. And that's been that's been happening for ever. So mm -hmm. I just don't be on Twitter. Mm -hmm. 
yeah. with my nieces and nephew if they if they're around me i knew that yeah i'll be on tiktok yes because mm -hmm. so i'd be like hey you want to see something scary <laughs> <laughs> but i don't know i just feel like their priorities are really screwed up because it's so like y'all want to be on this app when people cannot pay for groceries anymore like mm -hmm. it's ridiculous how much things cost gas prices constantly going up nobody can actively pay for their rent people are living from paycheck to paycheck y'all are funding this freaking genocide like <laughs> everything mm -hmm. else is going on and y'all want to ban this app because people are getting vital information about what's actually going on in the world it's the only app maybe besides twitter a little bit because mm -hmm. i see stuff about it on twitter all the time too but yeah. it's like this app is spewing out really good sourceful information about what's going on in the world. And they're like, nope, can't have that. Can't have people waking up and, you know, coming around to what's really going on and what we're doing and what we're not doing. Like, it's... It Where really, are your morals? There Where are none. <laughs> there are none, like, at all. It really just, like, it heats me up inside when I talk about it. Because I'm just like, I've seen things, like, those people... Things that you just like, cannot unsee. I've seen things that have like mm -hmm. etched into my brain for the rest of my life. I have too. I so it literally makes me sick. No, it makes it makes it makes me just like I'm just thankful for the life that I do have here. Like it's such a privilege to be able to scroll on Twitter and TikTok and to see what's going on versus that's their reality. Like mm -hmm. that's what they have to live through every day. It's what they've been living through every day for almost 80 years now and yeah. some months. It's and insane. I just, it really just does something to me. With right. Like everything that I've seen on, yeah, it's. Mm -hmm. They need to do better the damn government. They're not. They just, yeah, they won't. I say that, but they won't. I mean, I mean, what have they? You know what? Yeah, cause and then I think about like the people who do have podcasts and like, I think there's this one girl. Her name's Brittany Broski. She was really popular on TikTok, and people were really upset at her for not speaking up about what's been going on. But I think it's like this is something that a lot of people are just like they'll talk about every other social issue that's going on in the world, but when it comes to this conflict that's been going on, nobody talks about it. It's just like a, well, no, like we can't because, you know, we might get banned or we might get something taken down. The only person I've seen talk about it and not really care what happens to her career is Kaylani. She did a live, like, who? Kaylani, R&B singer. Oh, okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. She did a live a few months ago where she was talking about how a few people had called her and was like, hey, I don't think you should be talking about this right now because, you know, you might lose this and that. And she was like... I don't care. Right. <laughs> like, that's not what matters right now. Yeah. Like, I. Y'all worry about me losing followers or losing fans? <laughs> I'm not worried about losing brand deals. When people are losing deal. their lives. Right. I'm not worried about losing no brand deals. Like, I don't. It's just a bunch of blood money. Like, I'm mm -hmm. not trying to. I'm not worried about that right now. And the fact yeah. that you would even come to me with that. It just you lets shouldn't me even know. be on my team no more. Yeah, she said she had to drop a lot of her friends. She was like, I'm really disappointed in a lot of my peers because it's like, where are you? Like, where are you guys at? Where are the voices? Where is the promotion for this? Where is the activism? A lot of activism yeah. nowadays is performative anyway. It's very much like, oh, like, Black Lives Matter or Ooh. Free Palestine. It's like, y'all don't really care. They just, oh, yeah, I just feel like people care. just want to feel like they're a part or something yeah or you know like with the boycotts like you know a lot of people that they're like no like i still need this and i still need that and blah 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 i will say though you will be proud of me mm -hmm. because <laughs> i think it was last week not this past week but the week before um so the doctors or one of them um was like let's do starbucks for everybody mm -hmm. and they came up to me and was asking me like Taven, what do you want from starbucks and i was like Oh, I don't want anything. They do not support Palestine. Yeah, they don't. They've lost a lot of money mm -hmm. in revenue. I mean, so much. McDonald's too. Um, oh, oh, never mind. I'm sorry. Let me take that back. I'm sorry because I remember that I was broke and my stomach was, my stomach was, mm -hmm. and I was like, 
maybe just a cake pop. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I, I'm star I know, I know. But I said yeah. after this, I swear they will not get. Plus, I didn't even really yeah. like Starbucks so like sorry. that to begin with. And I, the only time I had ever had it was when I started working at TMS. That was the first time I had had it. Oh yeah, because the girls mm -hmm. every now and then. Yeah, they on every payday. on paydays like mm -hmm. they would give Starbucks. But people have tried to boycott Starbucks in the past too, just for racist like racism and like I think some transphobic things too. Mm -hmm. Um, but knowing that they send you know a lot of their drinks to israel and you know yeah they don't they're not for what they should be for so that's why a lot of people are boycotting them now and people are losing their jobs at starbucks and a lot of starbucks have gone out of business mm. because they're getting like really hurt by yeah. the boycott like it's bad um mcdonald's too mcdonald's is another one i think kfc um there's like a bunch of other ones is popeye's good i have think okay i because... know um duncan no not duncan krispy kreme krispy kreme is they're yeah. good mm -hmm. oh okay, okay not duncan it's not duncan we need to drive by krispy kreme though we oh, do I love krispy kreme i know yeah. and do you know about the light the light what's the light let me tell you about the light what's that <laughs> when the light is on you go in and you get a free donut Whoa. You only have to buy another donut to get the free donut. You just get a free donut. <gasps> that just reminds me, I wonder, because Chick-fil-A used to do this thing where I think it was on like, was it National Cow Day or something? If you dressed up like a cow, you get free Chick-fil-A. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I'm sorry. That, <laughs> that just reminded me of that damn video that I saw. Of Medea's class reunion oh. in that play and that woman walking through in that black cow suit yeah. that, that two piece yeah yeah i remember that <laughs> yeah but i think that Ooh. i don't know if chick-fil-a still does that i think it was like it was some national was it national milk day or national cow day maybe national it was it has something, something to do with, with dairy okay. yeah and if you national dressed cheese up day? No, no, maybe no. i don't know but if you dressed up as like a cow mm -hmm. like face paint and all you got free chick-fil-a for like either that day or for like a week or something i don't know you know what i don't know if they still do that it was this was a long time ago i have not seen that yeah but I, mean, I don't really go to chick-fil-a at all no uh, i really i'm not gonna lie i used to love their cob salads Mm -hmm. Cop squad. Oh, <laughs> I don't know why these damn and these these intrusive thoughts but just it's be funny. jumping out. Oh, it's sorry. funny. It's funny, but no, their cob salads are bomb. I can't get them anymore though because they put chicken and cheese in. Their um salad dressings. Their um was salon. No, is it avocado ranch or? Oh, I can't remember, but it's so good. And they have apple cider vinaigrette. Is really good. I'm like, why don't y'all sell your salad dressing in stores like you sell your dipping sauces? Uh -oh. That would be such a good marketing. Like, they had to make a deal with Walmart and Dillon's. Like, y'all sell your dipping sauces, sell your salad dressings too, because they're good. Oh, they do? What? They sell the dipping sauce? Mm -hmm. They have the Polynesian the in the big old bottles. Mm -hmm. I have some at home. All this time, I thought this type of sauce that I've been going over, I thought she was stealing them right off the damn <laughs> store. Wow. Like I need to apologize to her. Oh my god. <laughs> I, said, I said some things to no, her. No, you can get them in the store. They have the Polynesian, the Chick fil A, mm -hmm. whatever else sauces they got. I don't remember okay. the rest of them, but those are the two I do remember. But yeah, they sell them all at Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> no, I saw that in her cabinet and I looked at her and you broke oh. bitch. Wait. I was mad. <laughs> Wait, okay. Did you ever used to steal the little sauce? Hands from like restaurants no okay my mom technically stole them but <laughs> this sauce like the Wait little the little because red lobster that they bring you the sauce up. but that kind of makes sense it was the like i don't know red lobster does like the plastic mm -hmm. little sauce containers now but back in the day they used to have the pretty class ones but they were like blue and red and my mom used to steal them she used to take them home you know what I'm not mad at her. Mm -hmm. I'm like, oh, can I get some more sauce? And we used to. Can I get to... some more sauce and some more sauce? <laughs> and we take used to the take them home and they would be in the drawer. And I'd be like, oh, yeah, she did take that from Red Lobster that last time we went. Listen. I think people used to steal the syrup container things from IHOP. But yeah. 
I mean, it makes sense, but but it's but, like don't don't do that. Like that's a whole container of syrup that she's still in. Y'all whack. <laughs> Whatever happened to still the little things? Because like yeah, I mean, like the little sauce, little sauce like that. You know, I mean they sell those at the Dollar Tree, but okay, no. See, but yeah, like that. You know, it wasn't so so. Girl, but you you still in glasses and I just utensils. still the sweet and low in the equals from the restaurant. See that you can take though. They don't care about that. They don't care about that. <laughs> you can take that. But you still in syrup containers and plates, bowls. Not just plates and bowls. You still in the whole damn appetizer tray. <laughs> like, because there's got to be a line in, across it. See, now when I go out and if I see any... If I see a woman walk in with a big ass purse, I know exactly what she up to. I I, I know it. She is still in. And I bet you her man tore her too. <laughs> she is taking those utensils. You have anything else you want to say to the people? Anything you want to say to the government? <gasps> oh, shoot. <laughs> you know what? Let me not. Okay. Oh, because I not. already said what I said. And I don't even think you can keep that in. Because right. like I said, most people who have podcasts do not discuss what's going on right now. Um, because of fear, fear of getting it taken down. I don't really care because I'll talk about it. You know what? You know, let's go on ahead and keep it up. We just do a podcast. If anything, we start a new. You know, we can start another one. Honestly, keep, keep it in. I will. Keep it in. You know what we're going to do? We No, okay. No, okay. Wait, no, wait. That's sign language. What does it mean? So we standing on business. Oh, mm -hmm. you know what? I think I saw a TikTok of a dude doing oh, that. Really? Mm -hmm. Oh. I really oh. want to learn sign language. I really I know. do. I just thought of it. I, I need to put it down on the list. Mm -hmm. Because normally whenever I go there, I make a list of things to do. Right. And one thing that I want to do, which I did not get the chance to, I, I know Danielle, she would have loved it. Mm hmm and I would have loved just seeing her there. But they have a restaurant mm -hmm. where the servers are rude. Oh, I saw that. Oh I saw that TikTok where the girl, like, she just, like, kind of threw the plate on the table. And, and I forgot. And she take a fry. Yeah, she, and... like, she was like, what else do y'all want? I'm sorry, she would have got her ass beat. No, she because why were, why were people saying that in the comments? <laughs> like, I know that's the theme of the restaurant. Do but you that's just know like, how good that is for a person that's just naturally that way? Like, that yeah. would... <sighs> oh my gosh, why can I hear Danielle now? But like, we're here! Like, the damn food! You wouldn't have to worry about putting on that fake little, like, Hi, how are you? What can I get for you guys today? I'm gonna be your server. It's like, nah, like, what do you want? But like, hmm. Baby back ribs for the broad back heifer. Okay, okay, I don't need to worry. Okay. <laughs> I don't need to worry about that at all because Oh, oh my mom. I just feel like she'd be such a great fit. You know, okay, I will work there with her. So who thought of that? Right, we need one like that here. Oh, that'd be nice. But my thing is though, if we're rude back and we actually do piss somebody off, we're not gonna know because of course they're still gonna be rude to us, but if we do piss somebody off. How do we know that they're not back there telling the people like, hey, put this in their food, scratch some dandruff in there, or not I'm just scratch saying. some, oh. I'm oh. just saying. I'm yeah. sorry, I'm still tripping off of a girl getting a fry off of that I know, <laughs> that was because that so was so, funny. so, like, that that's was, not even rude. That's that, just disrespectful. That was funny. Like, she just threw the plate and then, let me just take me a little fry. She thought she was bad. I'm sorry, I thought that was funny. I did. I laughed. I chuckled. <laughs> you want to know what else made me chuckle? What? The Chick-fil-A girl. Chick-fil-A girl? Let's go ahead and end this show so I can show you this yeah. video. Okay, yes. Thank y'all for watching. Bye. Another great episode. Yes. Uh, yeah, I gotta show you that video. Okay, because I, I want to see it. The way she... Oh! Her! <laughs> up with her what was that she was doing her job that's she what it was, was like oh no i don't know there was something about her that just like gave me the it like chills. <laughs> i was like ew why is she coming at them like that right yeah i did Ooh, see her she was ew, the, way she... <laughs> Ooh. the way she presented herself was just oh <laughs> no i know exactly what you're talking about oh <laughs> That's funny. <laughs>
Oh man, that's crazy. Thank y'all for watching the show. Yes, thank you. And you know, hello, Bye. good night, have a good day and everything. Yes. Because you get nothing else from me today. Goodbye.